All right, just an update on the hoop house uh, moisture sensors. We have um, on each of the three watering zones, one moisture sensor. And um, I, I just put these little uh, sensor cages in and these aren't really needed to hold uh, the probe up since it sticks in the ground. But what it does do is it makes sure that all the probes are um, in the ground uh, the same amount. So that should kind of even out the readings between um, each of the zones. So if you have one probe that's in this far and one that's in that far, you're going to get a different reading. Um, so today in the mail, I just got the Voltaic always on um, power supply. So this has this does um, well supposedly does full pass through charging. So from the solar panel to your uh, device. Um, and it has a kind of, I guess, like a recovery mode. So if it gets drawn down all the way, it will turn itself back on once the panel charges it up enough. So it'll it'll die, and then it'll charge, kind of like a phone. It'll charge for a little while before it'll turn on, and then it'll, it'll turn itself on and, and stay on. Um, so that that's pretty neat. Um, I've been having trouble getting readings all day from, from this... Uh, Photon, so I don't have much um, moisture data for the last week. I was using this kind of kind of janky system with, I think I got these on Express for like ten bucks a piece, and the solar panels just totally don't keep up. Um, also, <clears throat> when the photon goes into um, power saving mode, so I just have it turn off the um, the Wi-Fi radio in between um, sending the readings. Um, the drop in current would cause the uh, battery pack to think that the device was disconnected, so it would turn off the output. So I got around that by having two of them, one feeding the other, because when these are charging, um, it keeps the output on as well. So I had solar panel feeding one, that feeding the other, um, and that was just to get some readings while the Voltaic was in the mail. And oddly enough, I would get readings at about 9 o'clock every day for like 30 minutes and that's after the sun goes down um, so I, I'm not sure what was what was causing that but uh, uh, pretty sporadic um, uh, readings there so we're we're the watering set up and uh, we're ready to put plants in the ground